Lots of concerns about how central bank governors in this part of the world will respond to that 75 move by the Fed. Will it force the hand of Bank Indonesia? I think it is more likely that Bank Indonesia need to respond to the interest rate hike by the Fed, you know, because um, in, in Indonesia, the central bank, uh, well, its mandate is focused on the inflation, but it's also important to uh, maintain or ensure that there will be not uh, exchange rate overshoot because otherwise it might create panic in the market. So because of that, I think Bank Indonesia uh, should respond, uh, you know, the Fed interest rate hike by raising also the interest rate. So how high should Governor Perugio go? He's already front loaded 50 in a row. Oh, well, I think, um, of course, they need to maintain the disparity between the Fed fund rate and Bank Indonesia. Of course, I cannot talk on behalf of Bank Indonesia, but my guess may be another 50 basis point at least. The point really is the rupiah is not really under that much pressure when you compare it to peers in the basket. It's still quite resilient, down about 8%, but versus the likes of the Korean won, it is resilient. I mean, there's no pressure there. Fair, to, fair assumption to make. Right. Yeah, I, I agree with you. So that is why I don't think that the Bank Indonesia need to raise the interest rate by like 75 basis point. But don't forget that the exchange rate overshoot might create panic. So the, the, the point, the strategy from Bank Indonesia is not the pegging the level, but smoothing the volatility by raising also the interest rate. Might it affect Indonesia's uh, GDP going forward? I mean, we had from the IMF projecting 5% growth. It seems to be pretty optimistic given a challenging environment. Well, I'm not that optimistic as IMF, but I think I can see the possibility of the slowdown of our economy. But probability of recession is probably relatively small because our export share to GDP is only 25% compared to country like Singapore is 180%. I could imagine, you know, uh, Singapore will be affected very much by this slowdown of the global economy, but probably Indonesia will be relatively less. But having said that, we have uh, possibly a deep recession in Europe, uh, a mild, perhaps, recession in the U.S. if it does happen, and uh, Asia hasn't been spared. Surely that would impact uh, economies like Indonesia. Well, the country that we, Indonesia should, you know, look at uh, carefully is China because China is one of our largest trading partners. If China slow down, it's going to affect the commodity price and also energy price. And we know that about 60% of our export is energy and commodity related. So I do believe that this may have an impact on our export and also the government revenue. So how concerned are you about the impact from China given the current pace of slowdown? I am concerned, but at the same time, don't forget that with the geopolitical tension in Europe now, there is a uh, Russia limit their uh, supply to natural gas to Germany, and the demand for coal is increased, and that's explained why the coal price uh, is relatively high at this moment. And Indonesia got a benefit of it because coal play a big chunk of our export. I want to touch on Operation Twist uh, mm. by the Central Bank. I mean, there's been a lot of skepticism that it's actually working. What's your own assessment of what's happening there? We probably have to look at to, you know, do an evaluation later on. But at this moment, uh, I don't see that, you know, this, 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 this strategy is quite effective because in the short term, it might create a sort of like a confusion to the market. On the one hand, that the Bank of Indonesia would like to anchor the inflation, but they are aiming also to have this low uh, long-term interest rate in the future. Mm -hmm. So probably, you know, we will see the impact uh, later on. The thing is, Indonesia wants to bring inflows, support the Correct. rupiah. What needs to be done for that to happen? Well, a couple of things, yeah. The first one is if you're talking about the FDI, of course, we are talking about all the you know, classic recipe about the investment climate, etc. But the second one, I think uh, interest rate is still uh, very important and also the anchor of the fiscal policy. And talk to us about the fiscal policy, right? How much fiscal space is there right now? A good question, because next year, by 2023, uh, the government set to have this budget deficit less than 3%. So you can imagine on the balance sheet, when the government revenue drop because the lower commodity prices, at the same time, they set the budget deficit less than 3%. So we will see the contractionary of our fiscal. It is, 
what the government supposed to do is to do the counter cyclical rather than contractionary. So under this kind of situation, uh, the most important thing for the government is to improve the spending quality mm. and to put the priorities. In my view, the most important priorities at this moment is to provide the protection for the vulnerable groups. So how might that play out? How should that money be spent? Where should the priority areas be? Well, we do have the separate, a couple of this, you know, the social assistance programs like the cash transfer, the conditional cash transfer. This group of people, the vulnerable groups, their marginal propensity to consume is very high. So if you give the money, they're going to spend the, you know, the money. That, this will induce demand. That's exactly what we did during the COVID. And that's the reason why our contraction was relatively mild at that time, was only 2.1%. Pakati uh, Basri, just one final question before we let you go. It is a mighty dollar environment, and some say that perhaps if the dollar keeps rising at this pace, something will break. What might that be? Well, like it or not, I think we have to follow the market because what the, you know, the bank, from the perspective of Bank Indonesia, what they can do is not the uh, pegging the level, but smoothing the volatility. But talking from Indonesian side, as you said, you know, our currency depreciation is relatively less compared to many currencies and we need to maintain our competitiveness anyway.